Okay, Peter here at 2016 Inadrone, and I'm here with Dan from uh, Sick Drone. Dan, how you doing? Hi, very good. Nice to be here. Cool, wonderful. So, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So, we have a thrust vectoring drone. So, the ability to dynamically change the vector of your thrust oh, wow. to provide additional forward speed and also some stability and capable to stay in the same position in very high winds. Oh, that's that's pretty amazing. So, what flight controller does it use? Does the flight controller actually control this, or do you do this manual? Well, we actually, because uh, you know, we're getting to the point in changing the software so much that we actually have to evolve into our own flight controller. So, mm -hmm. uh, we're building our own software and controller package that's in the center of the drone um, to be able to control this, and also we're designing, designing the lower system to be modular and accommodate a number of camera and sensor packages. Okay, so what are some of the practical uses for for this unit? For this size drone, uh, the agricultural market, uh, infrastructure inspection, search mm -hmm. and rescue, uh, emergency responders uh, can all use this size drone. Uh, can fly a little bit longer with when you get to this size drone, so they're they're very into flight time, obviously. <laughs> cool. How about a top speed on this? Top speed. So, typical drones of this size top end speed 35 to 40 miles an hour mm -hmm. we can cruise at that speed mm -hmm. so oh, wow. our top speed is actually over 70 miles an hour and we're approaching the FAA speed limit of 100 miles an hour with this unit. with this with this size, with this size. that's yeah. pretty amazing yeah. what about the endurance endurance like we're also looking at endurance um, with thrust vectoring you mm -hmm. can actually cruise your cruise speeds are more easily attainable you're using yet less battery draw mm -hmm. so we can go comparatively to a drone that's five to seven mile range, mm -hmm. we can actually go over 25 miles um, comparatively. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Is this already available on the market or? Yeah. We're planning on going into production in 2017, okay. so mid 2017, full manufacturing, um, but we're willing to work with potential partners uh, uh, if they desire the drone uh, right now. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful, now what about a smaller guy over there? So that's our flight test unit. Uh, it's a much smaller unit, mm -hmm. less costly if we crash it. <laughs> so that's <laughs> yeah. why we're going with that. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a lot of cool things with him, flying around cornfields, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but a small, small model we intend on offering is a 10-inch prop mm -hmm. uh, with a 5 to 10-pound payload on that one. Cool, wonderful. So people who are interested, where can they find you? Uh, Sickdrone.com, S-I-C-D-R-O-N-E. Uh, our website just went live, mm -hmm. and they're welcome to contact us there. Uh, they can contact us here at Interdro, <laughs> even. Like, uh, but uh, definitely head to our website and fill out the contact us form, and it's pretty easy. We'll get right back to you. Cool. Fascinating. Thanks a lot, Dan, for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.